Hello stranger, you playing Race on Warfare and you search for a local guide on the Blue Lagoon? Well, then ready up my friends, because I will take this job. As always, I guide through the questline step by step, show them on the map and also in the game. All videos and screenshots are made from the perspective of the Lemang Fraction, but this video might be also helpful for Mithras and Crimson Shield, since the areas and the quest should be similar, however still no guarantee on this aspect. Ok guys, I hope your backpack is prepared already, because we're starting right now. The Blue Lagoon is located in the far southeast of the Lemang Island. In my case, I explored the way to this area by myself by walking from India 2 over Juliet 1, Juliet 2 up to Kilo 1 and finally Kilo 2. I don't remember if you got the landing zones by quest, so walking along them might be a good option also for you. The Blue Lagoon has two landing zones, Kilo 1 in the west and Kilo 2 in the east of the village. The area itself can be strategically split into three parts, the office area, the makeshift hideout area and the abandoned shack in the south. The makeshift hideout is in the western part of the area and it is covered by a mountain which is not climbable. To get there you need to go through one of the other spots. Additionally, the complete area is split by multiple small rivers into multiple smaller islands, which then are connected through smaller bridges together. The main entrance of this location is along the road from the north and there is a stone wall around the main entrance. Along the stone wall east of the main entrance there is also an office building offering an open door to also enter the complex from the backside of the building. Additionally, following the wall to the south will lead you to another entrance option. Since only the entrance area is surrounded by a wall, you can also head towards the abandoned shack in the south and go from there to any of the other parts of this location. For most of the times, I used his strategy to enter this area. Ok, enough basics, let's start with the first quest. In Out of the Blue, Gunny wants us to collect an intel about the hostile group in this area. For this we want to go to the makeshift hideout. Since it's not possible to directly walk there from Kilo 1, I went from Kilo 1 directly east until I reached the main entrance of this area. Clear the enemies, walk through the main gate and then keep going to the right. You will see a water stream and should search for the next small bridge leading you from the office area to the hideout area. Pass the three small open wooden constructions and head to the restaurant building in the eastern part of the spot. Inside you will find a locked door to the left and an info board right of the door and next to a table with electronical equipment on it. On this table there is the needed document and it needs a 1x1 slot free in the inventory. Extract with it, hand it over and you're done. With the waters, this time Artisan wants us to eliminate 20 hostiles. Do your job and once you reach the 20 kills, the quest is completed. Directly next, Artisan wants us in Night Ocean to eliminate the head of the local group being called Malu Lungera. If nobody pulled him somewhere else, he usually can be found in the makeshift hideout area and partly patrols there. He can be identified by his gold chain and his open jacket showing his tattoos on his body. Eliminate him and the quest is done. The second area for the hazardous treasures leads us to the Blue Lagoon. As in the other tasks, also here we are asked to kill 10 hostiles in the first part of the mission. Once this is done, the quest refreshes and we need to find a 3x3 slot metal container. You can find a container in the office building. Go into the bedroom and check the right side of the room next to the window. Loot the 3x3 slot and a 30kg heavy container, extract with it and the task is done. Since this quest is part of a bigger quest line leading through multiple areas and giving you a special reward, I'll link the separated video up here. In fresh meat, Banshee sends us back to the office in the Blue Lagoon. The easiest way to get there is head to the backside of the office building from Kilo 2. Go inside the building, turn right to the bedroom and take the intel from the table. Extract with it and hand it over and the quest is done. In the second part of fresh meat, Banshee sends us back again for this quest and we need an open door or the BL shack key which can be dropped by hostiles around this area. Also here, the easiest way is to start from Kilo 2. Now head southwest through the jungle until you reach the abandoned shack. You need to cross a small bridge and often there are 2 to 3 AI walking in or near the area. Clear the area, walk inside the building and you'll find a door which you need the key for. Once the door is open, walk in and the quest should be done. We all know good things come in threes and so Banshee sends us back to the Blue Lagoon a third time. 
In the third part of Fresh Meat, Banshee wants us to explore the new roads instead of the resort. Start again at landing zone 2 and walk northwest along the road. At some point you will find a dead body laying on the streets. He has a ladder in his hands which you need to pick up. Extract with it, hand it over and the quest is done. The quest What Was Left from Benji and One Man's Trash from Turncoat brings back another decision questline and leads you to the makeshift hideout area. In the restaurant where you went for your very first quest you need to get back again. This time you need the BL STRG key and you want to get through a door directly left after you entered the building. Inside you will find a box of passports which needs a 2x2 slot in your inventory. Extract with it, hand it over to the vendor of your choice and the quest is done. The quest Lost Girl 2 from Gunny is a direct follow-up quest of Lost Girl 1. You need a 1x1 slot in the inventory. This time we were sent to the Blue Lagoon and we are searching for a pink diary within the area where the tents are. The easiest way to get there is to start at Kilo 2 and then walk towards the abandoned shack through the woods. In this area there are 2 to 3 AI which you should eliminate first. Now there should be two bridges. We ignore the bridge towards the shack and cross the bridge to the tents instead. On this right side there should be a pink tent. Behind the tent there is a bag with a diary in it. Take it, extract with it and hand it over and the quest is done. Congratulations soldier, if you made it here this means you made it to the end of this video and also to the end of the quest get around the blue lagoon. We don't know yet if we will come back later to this area or not, but if we will, we will update this video as always. I hope you actually enjoyed and liked this video, so please hit the like, comment and subscribe button to let the YouTube algorithm know about this and also myself. As next area we are planning to release a video about the Midnight Sapphire and also Fort Nerith. However, it will take some more time to finish this video. Beside of this I'm also live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday and Sunday starting from 1900 CET. So I'm not playing Grace on Warfare there but all kinds of other games so feel free to tune in and say hi. And with this being said, I hope we see us next time in one of the next videos. So see you around, bye bye.